Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for more Stray. Now this is part three of our playthrough of this game where we play as a little cat, and we fall down into this underground world full of robots in this sort of cyberpunk setting, and we need to find a way back to the surface. We buddy up with this little droid called B12, and he actually contains the memories of the final remaining human to ever live. This human was a scientist who basically put his thoughts and his memories and his personality into a computer and transferred his soul onto a hard drive of sorts, but then something went wrong and he remained trapped in the network, and eventually he ended up, thanks to our cat, in this little droid. So now he's been sort of resurrected, he's the last remaining human, and they're trying to figure out are there any more humans left in this world, and is there a way to get back to the surface and perhaps open it up so all these robots trapped underground can get out and finally see the sunlight. Of course all the robots in this world have evolved to also have souls or at least some kind of consciousness and can now feel emotions like joy and sadness and make friendships and have families of their own. So it's quite an interesting concept. Previously in the last episode we went through the sewers and we met all these creatures called Zerks. Now these are little monsters that the humans grew to basically eat garbage but they evolved over time and then became these flesh eating, metal eating, crazy little bug things and they've taken over the world. But we got through their hive, we escaped the hive, we finally made it up through the ant village which is this big tree that the robots live in and now we're in Midtown where we're trying to track down somebody called Clementine who's this robot that maybe have to assist us in breaking out of this under ground city and finally seeing the light once again. So with that said guys, let's dive back in and explore Midtown. So here we are, we're back in the world. Of course we had this little guy just chilling here. Let's give him a little rub. There we go. He loves it. Okay, so this is Midtown. We're going to start exploring it. Let's go. Let's find Clementine. Oh, we've got a guy there. Oh, he's been chased. Look. Police are stopping that guy. Is that who we're looking for? Well, it would be a girl if it's Clementine, I guess. It looks like we've got security drones in this area. What's this poster to say? Wanted Clementine, troublemaker, outsider, rebellious. Please report any sightings. So there is Clementine. That's who we're looking for. I don't think we just saw Clementine run past. Let's speak to this guy. Elk. I already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Hey, we're not a robot. We're a cat. Let's show them the picture of Clementine. Oh, it's the girl displayed on a wanted screen, right? You should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yosh here to know anything. Okay. So I guess we just ask around. So let's see what this says. <laughs> Don't worry about trash, Necro Corporation takes care of everything. Well, Necro were actually the company that created the Zerks in the first place. So they're, you know, they're pretty, they're a pretty bad company, let's say that much. So there's the droid. They're just searching this guy now. Let's speak to this cop. Please state your identity, says the peacemaker. Cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Well, that doesn't sound good. Mrs. Modrin, please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Okay, so that's useful information. The residence, we need to find that place. This way we can't actually go. Access to lower levels is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Oh yeah, that's the Zerks, so they're talking about the Zerks there. Of course, we just came from there. We actually emerged from the lower levels, so I don't think we want to go back there. Let's see if there's anything around here. We've got somebody here. This is Bonobot. Do you hear that down below? That ebb, that flow. The city haunts me. It taunts me. Okay. Let's rub around his leg. Oh, he doesn't like it. No! Why did we make you miserable? Let's show him the item. Ooh, Clementine? Yeah, I used to hang out with her, but she wanted to leave. She was a breeze, and then she flew. She's a wanted person now, and too heavy for me. Shh, hear that? That ebb, that flow. It's all about the ebb and the flow, this guy. Alright, for now, let's head on into Midtown. Wow, look at this place. This looks awesome. This is very Blade Runner-like. 
Have you guys ever seen that movie Blade Runner? It's a really cool film. But it feels very much like that. Have a little scratch on this door. Is anyone going to answer? Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey. Be cautious of the Sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. So the Sentinels, I think of those little flying things we saw. Maybe they're going to take over from the Zerks as the new enemy. Speak to this dude. This is Vladdy. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day, my other arm too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you're talking to now? It's a very philosophical question. Oh hey, what are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know? My guess is that they probably live in the massive housing building further uptown. Do what you want with that. So he does know them, but he doesn't want to speak up about it because uh, people might get arrested if he does. So yeah, he's saying downtown, that's where we might find Clementine. Oh, look at this guy. It's like a construction worker. Garay. At Neko Corp, we work all day to gather the waste and send it downstairs, where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we had good news from them. Oh, there's another guy, guarding the door. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Neko Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Well, we haven't got a few years. You know, a cat only lives for about 15 years. Cool picture. Is that an address on the back? Yeah, the first symbol is a street. Then there's a floor and a door number. Okay, that's good information. The first symbol is a street, then a floor, then a door number. Okay, so let's look at that again. Should be pretty easy to find. So, if we look at the picture again... So the first symbol is the floor, and then the door number is the second one. Now we just need to find that building. We can find the residence building, we've got the floor and the door number. So the door number is 8, and then we match the symbol to the floor. Got it. Cool, so it was worth talking to that dude. Let's keep going. Ooh, who's this? He looks a bit shady, doesn't he? He's got blazer. I'm busy, what do you want? Uh, show him this picture. Go away. Alright. He doesn't want to speak to us, I guess. Never mind. Who's this dude? Looks like a bouncer or something. Is this a nightclub? Yeah, that looks like a nightclub, doesn't it? Let us in, we want to dance. Club's closed, get lost. Alright, I guess we are a cat. I'm going to loop back and speak to these guys now. Can I rub around their leg? Yay! And they like it as well. Oh, now he's angry again. This merchant crook stole my faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up as spare parts. Wait, can we go in this shop actually? Hey, we can. Anything interesting here? Oh, we've got a code. Spelt backwards. 2458. But as it's spelt backwards, would it be 8542? I reckon maybe. Because why is code spelt backwards? So is it 8542? Hey! I think that works. Yes, we got a badge. Don't know why we need a badge, but we've got a cat badge. Nice. We didn't steal anything, promise. We're just gonna go now. Okay, let's loop around here. Look at this place. I love the visuals in this game. Like, the environments are so atmospheric and cool. I don't know if I'd want to live in this world, but I certainly visit it, you know? Who's this dude? Albert. You've been in the city below. I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Yeah, we've been down there. Trust me, it wasn't that great. Full of Zerks. Who's this guy? 
Sujiro. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here until I took a screwdriver in the knee and now it's closed. It's a bit of a sad story. Glack. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. All right. We won't. We're just a friendly cat. We're not going to scare anyone. Let's say I have a phobia of cats, I guess. Ooh. Who are these dudes? Joe. Isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think that nothing bad could happen to us. Well, don't speak too soon. I'm going to show them the picture. Oh yeah, I know her. I used to see her a lot. I think she lives around here. She was always talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? Because she wants to see the daylight. So, <gasps> wait, the symbol. Okay, wait, let's look at our picture. That's the first symbol. Yeah, so that's street. So we've got the street. The second one is the floor. And the third one is the door number. Now remember that's what he said to us. So that matches. Cool. So this is where she lives. Do I explore the rest of the town before we go in? I think I might. Just to get, you know, a sense of where everything is. It's easier to solve any puzzles that might come up that way. So let's speak to these guys. Res inputs. I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with malware. I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. Yeah, well, that's what you get for downloading illegal programs. Never install something you don't fully understand on your computers, guys. Jazam! I've mastered every single game that ever existed, but I can't work out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? Well, maybe not. It's a human game. Maybe you just don't understand it. Mimuff. I don't know, Tonin. I like pretty much everything. I think these guys are just randoms. What will it be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. I think these are people we could show the picture to, but we already know like where this person lives now, I think. It doesn't seem like we can do anything else in this bar right now. Let's head back outside. It's kind of a nice chill little bar though. Ooh, what's this place? Hey, he's like a hairdresser. <laughs> Look, he's had his head taken off. Slippy. Ouch. Huh, what's that weird feeling? The stylist. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. That's funny. Robots are living a very different life right now to humans, having their heads removed at the stylist. Swapped out for something else. Oh, we've got a paint can up there. Can we get up to that? Let's knock it over. I don't know if we get like a trophy for knocking all of these paint cans off. We've got a memory here though. The barber shop was a social hub where people would gather, talk, tell jokes, and share secrets. It was a fun place. Even after the humans were gone, the companions kept the shop going. Turns out hair is not a necessary ingredient for a successful barber shop. There we go, got another memory. Don't know if there's anything else up here. I don't think so. This is probably why we came in here, just to get that memory. So let's leave the barber shop now. What's this shop? Got a very solemn looking guy. A hatter. Sorry the shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivery guys, but it seems they're taking their sweet time. So this is the hat shop. We'll have a look of it. You can't go in there though. Look at that big hologram, that's cool. And then we've got... Looks like a little eatery over here or something. Let's speak to these guys. Kundi. I just walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by the sentinels. For years we have been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this as fact, but why? It's true. We should question it. Kruni. You know what, my friend? Stay away from the sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Yes, it seems like these sentinels and cops are like rounding up different robots that defy them, putting them in a local jail or something. But 350 years is a long stint to do, you know? 
Oh, there's a hole up there. Can we get to the hole? Oh, no. Sorry, just knocked over your pots. At least I don't have plants in them. Memory. Nice. It's interesting to see robots mimicking human work and behavior. Here, they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming, and the server's name was... Oh, I don't remember. It started with M, I think. Maybe it was Mike. Okay, we missed one memory in this area so far. I'm going to try and find that, because I want to get all the memories. I mean, we have missed two before we got to this place, so we're never going to find all of them at this point. So look, there's the sentinels, these little robots. And they're obviously going to shoot us, I guess, if we go beyond this point. So let's head back into the town. Got another shop here. Look at this guy. Oh, what's this? Steel jacket. He's seen us, he's clocked us. Oh, he's guarding it. Ozzy, no, no, no. You're not going to steal that. Alright. So we might need the jacket if we can take it at some point. But we can't take it at the moment. We'll check out the back. Oh, look, there's a framed guitar like the musician had made from a fuel can. Insert item. I think we need a cassette tape for this. So, yeah, I guess if we put some music on, then the guy will be like, oh, what's happening? And he'll come through and then we can take the jacket, maybe? But we don't have a cassette tape right now. So if we can talk to this little dude. Nope. All right. Well, I guess we just head back out then. Have we looked around the whole place yet? I think we have, because that's the guy with the newspaper. We looped around there. We went past the nightclub and went around the other way. I think we've looked everywhere now, guys. I'm pretty sure we have. I think what we need to do now is head into this residence area. Look, someone's got a boombox there. Maybe we can get a tape from that guy. John Ma, life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Oh, grab cassette tape. Simon says, hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Genma, Miko and me. The Sentinels have installed free security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? All right, sure thing. Look, he's just waving at one of them. So we've got a security camera there. Oh, we've got one there as well. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's right there. You can see that. Can't zoom in. Just goes all blurry. There we go. So, one, two, three cameras. Okay. Well, this is where, apparently, our friend Clementine lives. She's hiding out somewhere here. Let's see if these guys know where she is. What do you mean you forgot about the character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Pino. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I will go in that cave. Let's go. So they're just rehearsing for a play or something. Lots of creative types around here. We've got musicians and dancers downstairs. We've got these playwrights here or actors there. Not sure exactly what they do. Wait, can I get him out of box? Hey, we can. Don't know why. Maybe it's just a kind of cute little thing we can do. Wait, the cameras, where are they? Oh, look, there's one here. Is that broken it? Oh, yeah, that's all we have to do. Just jump on them. Okay, so we've got to jump on the other two now. I think we can get up to this one. Yep. Hey, there we go, nice and easy. One broken camera. Where's the other one? Oh, it's over there. There we go. Done. Done and done. So now let's go and get that cassette tape. Look, they're all dancing now. Because we basically 
Just destroyed the cameras so they can do what they like. Well done, I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Cassette tape, loud mix. Nice. Okay, we can probably go back and get that jacket now and go and steal it. But before we do that, I do want to see if I can find Clementine. You know, keep some pace with this episode. Try and do a bit of story stuff before we do a side quest. So, where would she live? We need to match up these symbols. Are we on the right floor as well? Let's ask this guy. Muka, what are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. All right, well, I'm gonna show you this. There's an address behind there. It's just here. Oh, okay. What, like on this floor? Three at the top, four at the bottom. It's not that one. We want three at the top and five at the bottom. <gasps> this one, and it's all sealed up. Through the window? Yeah, look, we're in. A hidden apartment, and someone's living here. This is probably Clementine's residence, I'm guessing. got a cutscene. Cat on a prowl. Oh, okay. She's <laughs> almost hit us with that lamp. Easy, Clementine. We come in peace. I thought you were a scent. <sighs> Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Well, we've got this photograph of Balthazar. Wait, so Balthazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. Well, I've been looking for a way to get to the outside ever since I left Ant Village. But the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Nice. Alright, Clementine, you lead the way. Get our next mission. I've been working on a plan to use the old subway for a while now. Oh yeah, because we walked through the subway to get to Midtown. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it up. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Okay, so we've got a note. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. Well, also because we're a cat, right? So nobody's going to suspect a cat. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. This city is full of information. Just steer clear of the sentinels. I reckon the guy we need might be that shady guy reading the newspaper. Because he wouldn't answer any questions about Clementine. And he had a big, like, bomber jacket on. Track down that atomic battery outside Manifesto at any cost. Find my contact. He can get you inside Neko Corp. So yeah, we need to get inside Neko Corp factory. That's the next objective. So we're going to leave Clementine here working on a computer. I want to have a look around her apartment, you know, a little poke about it. Just have a see what she has. That's weird. A very weird statue in the bathroom. She's actually growing plants in her bath because, of course, robots don't need to bathe in water. In fact, it might be quite bad for them to do so. What's this? Oh, a little scratch. And a drawer. Nice. This is a chill place, though. I wouldn't mind relaxing here. Look, she's got a little place. She kind of sleeps, a little reading nook there. Just to get cosy on a night and read a book. And up here... Oh, up here, I think, is where she just kind of... Actually, this is where she sleeps. We've got her bed. So, yeah, so she sleeps up here. She's got this little crystal. Maybe it's a healing crystal. Okay, I feel like we've explored most of Clementine's apartment now. I don't think there's any memories in here. I expected there to be some, but it doesn't look like it. So, let's keep going. We need to track down this guy, a guy in a bomber jacket with a gold chain, she said. He's going to help us get into the factory, and I think I know which guy it is. So I think the guy was down here, yep. 
reading his newspaper. Talk with Blazer. Yeah, look, he's got the gold chain on. I'm busy, what do you want? Show him the note. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with Otzi? My contact? Well, her name is Clementine, but she's obviously given you the incorrect name for the sake of security. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. There's the factory entrance. The battery is powering the Neko Corp factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns anyone away who is not a worker. Here's an idea, get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. We have to do all the work as usual, but now at least we know what the jacket is for, and I think we know how to get it because we've got that cassette tape. So we'll get that first, here is the jacket shop. Into the back room we go, and we need to play the cassette. Hopefully this works, Oh, that is loud. That is some ear-piercing drum and bass right there. But it's worked, it's done the job. No one's watching, <laughs> but he's covering his ears. He's like, what the heck is that racket? Arrgh. Turn that infernal noise off. There you go. He shut it down. With the power of his mind, he didn't even press a button. We don't want to mess with that dude. Sorry, Ozu, we had to steal your jacket. But maybe we'll return it someday. Oh, here we go. Here's the hat shop and the worker helmet right there in the window. Let's see if we can just walk through and get... Oh, okay. He doesn't want us to. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. And seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. He's not very happy, that worker. I've been waiting for ages for Stoplarchi to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. If that guy's slacking off at the bar again, he's got another thing coming. At the bar, okay. So we know where we have to go now. Here we go. He's asleep. What the heck? This is the guy we want, I think. He's forgotten. He's had too many beers or bottles of oil or whatever it is. And, um... Yeah, he's just fallen asleep. How do we wake him up? Meow? Meow at him, maybe, yeah? Come on. Wake up. Nope. Can't wake him up that way. Oh. Can we knock those bottles onto him? It's a bit cruel, but he is slacking off work. Here goes nothing. Oh. I did the trick. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh man, I'm late. I gotta get back to work. I've been drinking on the job again. You look at him staggering out. He's got a hangover. Nursing that hangover there. Alright, we'll just kind of walk back with him. Come on. Back to work you go. Right, hopefully we can now go inside. Do we have to get in the box though? There's actually a box here. Yeah, sneak inside the box. I'll carry us in, won't they? Here he comes. He knows he's in trouble. Look at him. He's like, what kind of time do you call this? Sorry, boss. I was uh, I was just having a few drinks. Well, it's not the time. Anyway, get going before we get fired. That's my little conversation I made up for them. Seemed pretty accurate. We can interpret without needing to know what they're actually saying, right? And it actually worked, our plan. Look, he's carried us straight in. Look at him sweating. He's like, man, I just don't want to throw up right now. Drink in moderation, kids. Now let's uh, get that hat. <laughs> there it is. Steel worker hat. Nice. Is there anything else we can do in here? It looks like we can escape through this vent. Nice. Nobody will ever know we're even there. That's what a cat does best, it sneaks. Okay, Blazer, here you go. Your stuff, as asked. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet. Yeah, I've got you one. Perfect, the jacket is exactly what we need. I still need a worker helmet, though. Did you find one of those too? Yep. Excellent, this helmet will do the trick. 
I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around. Yeah, sure. There we go. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it will do. You look good, man. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Cheers, man. It suits him well. Apart from the gold chains around his neck, he looks kind of a bit too bling bling, you know, to be going in, working a day at the factory. Carrying us in. Just some spare parts in this box. Not a cat and the last remaining human in the world, just, just some parts. And it worked, we're in. Awesome. So this is the factory. We've actually got sentinels on patrol already. We just need to avoid that circular beam that it projects, so as long as we don't get scanned by that beam, we should be all right. Right, now we've got multiple sentinels here. Go. Ooh, that was close. Right, go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Yes, we made it. That was uh, some proper solid snake style sneak in there. Hey, good thing you're here. Can you help me? I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinel refuses to help me. They told me if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you could help me find them, I'll be eternally grateful. So we need to find his keys somehow. Right, we need to sneak past this guy. Jump across. Nice. Oh, we can open the door. All right, so far so good. Nobody's detected us. Nobody even will know a thing. I wonder if we go this way to get the guy's keys though. We need to go down to that lower level, but I don't know where, how we do that. Oh well. I'm just gonna keep going for now. Go, 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 go. Right. Oh. Oh no. That was close. That was close. We almost got detected then. It went to green. Alright, I think we have to sneak in the shadow of this thing. Yeah, like that. We didn't get the guy's keys. I don't know if we missed them, but I'm not going to worry too much. So far, we haven't triggered anything. No alarms have gone off. That could easily change. We've got to keep up with the shadows here. Nice. I'm just looking for a way we can get to the guy's keys on the lower level still, but I don't think we can. This time we've got to go the other side. Then switch round, I think, by the look of it. Slip in the shadows. As if we were never there at all. Nice. Look at this guy just tinkering with that contraption. I love the animations in this game, like all the diff different robots have like personalities as they fix stuff up and there's just a lot of vibrancy in life in the world, you know? Another security camera. We've got some lasers here as well. Don't know how we get past the lasers. Oh, barrel. Now I know how we get past the lasers. This game has a lot of puzzles which just involve getting in a barrel and walking forward. But it works, so I'm not going to complain. <gasps> is that the thing we want? I think it is. That's the atomic battery. Now how do we get the atomic battery? That's the question. What's this thing? Turn on and off. Okay. Oh! 
I see. Yeah, I think when we stand on these pads, it um, it makes us lower. I think we need to get all three of these pads to have an object on them. And then it will lower the battery so we can get it. So maybe we need to get this one. Let's bring this over here. I think we need to get this other container. It's kind of funny how it just follows us around. Alright, let's open this door. Turn on this one. Hey, we got two. And can we use a barrel as well, actually? The barrel could roll all the way to this one, but this is in the way. But maybe if we... Maybe if we use these two things on the other two pads, it will lift that up enough for the barrel to move past it. Yes, look, it's made a gap. The battery is almost in our paws. Now we just need to walk this underneath it. There we go. And put it onto the final pad here. There we go. And now we can take the battery. Oh, but we set off the alarm. It's like when you take the diamond from the vault in a movie. You know, in the museum or something, and then all the alarms just trigger. We got it! Quick, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. We didn't find the guy's keys, though. Oh, well, he'll have to go without his keys. Ah, and here's that bucket from the beginning. Look, it's leading us back to the start of the opening area. Awesome. So now we just need to get back to Clementine. Oh, what's going on here? We've got police. The Popos have shown up. And they've cordoned off the area. Remain calm. A search operation is ongoing. Wait, they might get Clementine. These guys don't look happy. We've got sentinels in here. Okay, we need to get to the stairs at the back of the room. I'm going to hide behind these. Sneak up. Come on, Clementine, we're coming for you, don't worry. Hold out a little longer. Just stay calm, stay cool. We'll be there in no time. Okay, we can't go down there. See, he doesn't give us enough space. Look at that, he stops. We have to go around the long way. Can't go up the stairs there either, look. The stairs are sealed. That's where I was hoping to go up. Got one there as well. Wait, maybe... He comes up here. I'm going to sneak past him. Go, go, go! Quick! Yes, we made it. Okay. And we got this guy. Go. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're on the top floor now. We've got one there. There's no going past him because he's just scanning the floor. Um, probably don't want to turn on that radio because he will just turn around. We can go across the top. Look. We've got one there though. When he turns around, we'll go. I think that's her apartment right there. In we go. Nice. Clementine, where are you? She's gone, what the heck? Look at clue board. Clem? Hmm, no signal of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look, the B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And then there's these four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay, so we've got a new item. Oh, look, it's got the crystal on it. That was on her, like, the top floor where her bed is. 
So basically, it's got an order to it. One, two, three, four. They're objects, I think, in our apartment. So it looks like one is the diffuser, two is the crystal. Oh, three is the statue, um, or the mannequin, I should say, with the traffic cone on its head, but that's in the bathroom. And then four is a sort of lava lamp. But not that one, because we can't interact with that one. I would have thought it would have been that one. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything, are you sure? Oh, yeah, we're just meant to inspect the right objects then. Okay, so I think I know what we're meant to do. We need to find the diffuser first. I think this is that, actually. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There is also a message hidden under the container. It says... I'm with... Ah, so we get part of a message under each of these containers. The crystal was part two, I think. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo! There is a message, it says... Blazer. Okay, so we have I'm with Blazer so far. So now we need to find the next part of the message, which I think was meant to be on this monstrosity here. Huh? What an odd thing to happen in an apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Yeah, that's how he's perceived this guy trapped in this robot. Look, something's been left here. It says, come to. So I'm with Blazer, come to. And then we've got one last space to fill in. Oh, is that a lava lamp? Yes, it is. It's got a heart on it. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, nightclub. Ah, I'm with Blazer at the nightclub. Oh no, I'm with Blazer come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Yep, we need to go to that nightclub. So it's time to blow this joint. Get out of here. Of course, we've got to avoid these sentinels once again. Let's just go right back the way we came. Should be easy now. We know what we're doing with it. Run by him. This one, we're going to have to follow him really quickly. Go. Hey, we slipped by. Go. That was pretty cool. That was pretty smooth. And I'm bad at stealth in games usually. Oh! Almost was very bad at stealth then. No, no, no! 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 We got spotted! Screw this! I'm running, guys! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm going. We almost had a perfect run then. That's so annoying. Oh well. We got spotted once. Anyway, we got to the nightclub and I don't think the sentinels are chasing us anymore. So let's speak to this dude. It's not for you, go away. But we need to get in. Our friends are here. It's time for a party. But they're all queuing up. Of course these guys are queuing up to go inside. <laughs> Look at that guy up there, just kicking his legs. He's like, hey, maybe we can uh, climb up to it somehow. He's looking up there. Oh, there's an open window. I work hard to clean the streets, only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. It's a very cynical view, but I suppose true to a degree. Let's speak to this dude. He looks very happy. How's it going, my guy? He doesn't want to speak to us. He's just dancing away. Right, can we get him through the window? Alex. Hey, how'd you get up here? 
You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, I will do. Look at this place. Got DJs. Everyone's partying. I like it. Talk to the bartender. Hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private business is going on there. It's being reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Ah, so that's where we need to get to. Look, he's on the top floor with a guy in a hat. Smoking his little vape pipe. I'll have a little explore before we try and go up there, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Just stands in that cube and it goes down. It's a little service elevator. Ooh. Memories. We just messed up their nice arrangements. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more squalid. And the capitalist greed of companies like Necocorp, and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Look, we've missed four memories along the way. We've got, like, most of them, I guess. We've got, like, 77% of memories. Right, so what else can we do in this place? Look at him just chugging his drink. Oh, wait, there's a record. <laughs> Look at his little face. Wait. Can I get this record to play? Hey, I can. Yay! Hello, <laughs> we can scratch. We're mixing it. Hey, it's a party, guys. <laughs> Yay, we're a DJ cat. That's fun. I like that. I don't know if we needed to do that, though. Use lever base. We need a lever for this. Okay. We've got one here. That lowers that. And then, wait, is he going to make it go back up? Yeah, he, he makes it go back up. Is this how we get access to the VIP area? I don't think we can. Maybe we need to get the other one working. Maybe this one just doesn't work. Wait, this guy's got the lever in his hand, look. This club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me! Can you believe it? So I stole this lever, just for kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it either. You need to get him a drink. Why did you take it if you don't want to be caught with it? Why are you still holding it if you don't want to be caught with it? That's the real question we should be asking. Drink from a bar? Got a strange drink. Yeah, it's a yellow drink. I don't know if I'd want to drink that. Alright, here you go. Have your drink. Ooh, thanks, friend. Here you go, as promised. Gained a new item, the lever handle. Right, let's go and use the lever handle. Anna says, I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from a bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. So she's downloaded the dance moves from that hologram, so she's mimicking it. That's kind of funny. Anyway, let's go and place the lever and get up to that VIP room. This should work. Yeah, look, there's an actual entrance point up there. So he just sets it back up. And then we go up, jump off. And it works. Nice. Right, what do we do now? Ah, okay, this lowers that. That raises that. Ah, 
Oh, we need to figure out the sequence, I think, so that we know how to get across. That looks like we could get across now. Who's that dude in the hat is what I want to know. Looks like some kind of mad hatter or something. Or Abraham Lincoln, maybe, actually, a little bit. Wrath. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Now that doesn't sound good. Why was Blazer talking to you just then? Oh no, wait! Clementine's all tied up. Mm-mm! Mm, she says. <laughs> oh no, we've been double-crossed by Blazer. I knew he was shady. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. You're a douchebag, man. <laughs> She's sweating, look. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They are all yours. So what's going to happen to us now? No! Are we dead? Was that not meant to happen? Oh no, we, we're alive. We're in a cage. We're in the jail. <laughs> Hung above water. A cat's worst nightmare. We need to get out. Let's rock it back and forth. It's always, this is always the way you escape in these games, isn't it? It's like little nightmares. You always have to rock the cage back and forth and then you escape. But we're out. Didn't take much to escape our little cell there. Security is pretty lacking in this place. Now let's get out of this place. The jail. All right. If it wasn't already clear, this is the jail. Can't reach the other one. Need to figure out a way across. I think we need to get down to uh, that open door down there. Maybe if we jump on this. And then jump on this. Yeah. And we can hop across. Nice. Is that Clementine? No, that's just some guy being shocked in there. Sorry, man, I can't do anything to help you. He's just been tortured. This place is pretty sinister. Wait, is that something? We jump? Yep. You can always tell in this game because the cat kind of looks at stuff that you need to jump to. It's quite kind of clever how they've designed it. So I saw his head was just looking up at that ledge then. I was like, that's where we need to go. This place is full of sentinels, so maybe hop down. Got one here. Run. Look at these cells, man, full of dead robots. Go, 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 go. Nice. Yep. Success, and here's Clementine. She looks really happy to see us. She's like, hey, little first ball. She's pointing at a key. Of course, makes sense. Oh, yeah, because we've had our little robot companion, our B12, taken off us. So I've only just noticed that. It shows how observant I am. Yeah, we haven't got B12 anymore, so we can't hear what she's actually saying to us because he's not translating. So she now just has to kind of mime what she wants us to do. But we know. We, we're in tune with her. Right, here's the key. Get them back to Clementine. We're going to have to find B12. He is a human after all, so, you know, I can't leave a human behind. A cat and its human needs to be bonded. Right, here you go, Clementine. They kind of just snap to her hand when we drop those keys. There we go. Voila! The door is open. Sneaky, sneaky now. Let's get out. Let's go and find B12. Right, where are we going? This way? Oh, 
Hopefully the keys work on all these doors. Follow me. I'll lead the way. I'm the cat in this relationship. I get to do everything I want. Is this something we can use? No, just a lantern. Oh, it's an arm holding a lantern. <laughs> it's really weird. <gasps> Wait, look. It's B12. He's in a giant cell. I hope he's not being tortured down there. The cat knows that he has to go back for his friend, for B12. Because that would be very sad if we just left him in there, and who knows what they're doing to his mind. Probably trying to extract information from it. He's like, over here, over here, we must rescue my master. <laughs> well, I don't want to call it the master, because I think they're an equal partnership, aren't they? He's like, are you sure? We should just go, I think. Oh no, she's like, we should help him. I thought she was going to try and say, no, we have to leave him. Clementine's a good one. She's a real one. I love the music in this game. It's really, really sort of moody and ambient. So it's going to be a prison break. We're going to break out B12, but the sentinels everywhere. We've got to be careful. Looks like we're going to have to go on ahead. So yeah, she's saying go on ahead. That's okay. We got this. Just got to use our stealth. To be fair, we were only detected once by the sentinels in the previous chapter got lasers to deal with as well. It ain't no thing to this cat though. Oh, jump up quick. That was close. Alright, let's hide behind this. Sorry if I'm going quiet guys, I'm really trying to concentrate on where I need to go. Alright, now we run. And... Can we jump up there? Yes. I think when that lowers... Oh no, I think we need to go down now. And run. There we go. Oh no! No! No, 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 no! Jump in! Wait, will he leave us alone? Ah, so when we go in the box, they kind of lose the signal. And they, you know, lose the scent, so to speak, and they kind of go off. It's actually quite easy to avoid these guys. Wait, do we need to shut down the cell before we get to it, though? Yes, we do. I was going to say, like, how do we get to it otherwise? Right, so there's B12. He doesn't look like... He's doing much, though. Hopefully he's okay. We need to sneak in now. Got lots of sentinels watching. We have to be careful. Alright, let's go this way and hide behind the desks. We need to wait for the opportune moment. Maybe if I kind of sneak around like this. And go in from... Oh, no. We just need to wait for the right moment. And one of them turns away from him. There we go. Grab him. Now we need to go back. The way we've come. Ooh, that was very close. We've got you, B12. Don't you worry. We're going to get you home safe and sound. All the lasers have been shut off now, which is good. We've got more sentinels watching this way. It's going to sneak around. No! Ah, uh, run! Go, 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 go! We made it, we made it, we made it! That was so close. He was like shooting, like trying to blast us, wasn't he? <laughs> As we ran away. We got him back and he's okay! He's alive! That's what we like to see. You okay, little fella? 
The last remaining human still alive. Oh, They have this real connection and you get that with a cat. I don't care what anyone says, you do get that bond with a cat. I have that with our cat. I didn't actually read that. I think he said I thought you left me, but you came back for me, I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I am a good friend. That's right, and so is Clementine. I'm so glad we're all together again, but we're not safe yet, she says. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open the door just there? No problem. We are back together, we're connected. Opening the doors, we're gonna escape the prison. More sneaky sneaky time. Alright, what's she doing? She's checking. Is there anything out there? Huh. Oh. Can interact with these. Giving her an idea. She's like, oh, a brick. Useful. What's she gonna do with it? Oh, she gonna throw it? Yep, there we go. Nice shots. Made a bit of a noise though. But luckily there are no human guards, only the sentinels, so we should be all right. Hey, you get a little uh, lift on her head. I like that. You'd have to have a very strong neck to do that. Luckily, she's a robot. Now we can let her in, I think. Yep, there we are. Okay, we're in the prison yard now. Hopefully that means we're almost out. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you could try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Oh, great. So we've got to get the sentinels to actually chase us on purpose now. Oh, look, there's a guy. I'll just go and speak to this dude. Pablo, do you see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. So they just wipe their memories if they don't comply in this place. Look, his memory's gone. This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. I don't know about that, man. You've just got no mind anymore. Well, no mind of your own. You're just compliance like they want you to be. I think we have to try and trap it in this room. Yeah, I reckon we run around here loop to loop and then go back out and shut the door behind it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to wait until it scans us here. Go. Is it following? Yep, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Shut the door. Did we get it? I think once you get out and you activate that door, it kind of can't chase you out. It just automatically locks it. So that's kind of good. And here we go. Across the yard. She's going to open the door for us now, I bet. We've got another one to go through, though. And it looks like there's more sentinels in this one. Yeah, look. Got one there. Oh! And one there, which we almost got scanned by straight away. Let's go and speak to this guy over here. Lupin. They put me in jail just because I wanted to overclock my pro pro processor. So his mind's all scrambled now. They've been messing with it. Oh, look, we've got another guy here as well. Capone. <laughs> Al Capone. Hey, you don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left, and then I'm free again. Wow, that's a long time. You're going to be pretty rusted by then. I wouldn't take the risk. Let's just get out now, right? So we need to attract both of these into this room. This is going to be much harder because we've got to get them both on our tail at once. Quite literally on our tail because he's a cat. I think what we should do is aggro this one first. And then this one. 
Oh, quick, 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 quick. Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. Now we need to shut this one. Hey, I think we did it. I think we're clear. Yep. Here she comes. Nice. Awesome. Oh, look, he's following as well. Wait, is that a memory, actually? I want to go and get the memory. It is one. This poor fellow. It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions. No more self-awareness. No more memories. Please, let's not get caught. So that was the last memory we can get in the game and we collected 81% total guys. So we, I didn't get all 100% but I do think that 81% was pretty decent for us. But these guys are laughing now at the Sentinels. They're like, ha ha. <laughs> anyway, let's go and follow Clementine and get out of this place. Okay. Looks like we've got to sneak under here. Where are we? Got a little vehicle there. Wait, is this the... Yeah, that's the exit. Nice. Okay, it's time to open this up. Got a letter in first, though. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now, can we open that exit up? This door is the only way out of the jail. I think we can open it up from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to the room though, so let's look around. Let's look around indeed. What's this? Keys. Oh, keys. Maybe we can use this as an escape vehicle. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of a truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. Ah, that actually makes more sense. But we could also use it to escape. Maybe. She's like, get on the back. All right. Remember, I'm a cat, so it takes me a while to understand your robotic instructions. It's nice not having to worry about finding memories anymore now. We don't, you know, we know that that was the last one because it was the last one on the little bar. Exit is open. It's making a lot of noise, though. Hopefully it doesn't attract any sentinels. Oh, okay, well it is. It has attracted sentinels. We gotta run. Oh no, quick. Jump the fence, jump the fence. Why would she go without us? No. Ah, we gotta catch that truck. We gotta duck. We gotta dodge all these bullets, come on. And jump. Nice, we made it. We're getting out of here. That was a cool escape. But we're not out of the woods yet. Oh no! Wait, is she not coming with us? Why aren't you coming with us? Clementine says, there's no way we'll make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but then... But you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says, we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Oh, the cat's just like... You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get out to the outside, but one of us has to. And we got the subway key. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Oh, she sacrificed herself for the greater good. She just wants somebody to be able to get outside, even if it's a cat and a human AI. All right. Well, I guess we're going to that subway then. That was cool, though, escaping the prison. That was pretty sweet. All right, so where do we put the battery? 
follow the power lead, I think. Goes down here. And here we are. Use item. And it looks like it's worked. Neko Corporation. The train is powered up. We can take our seats. We can head in. This could lead to the surface. I think they said that earlier, right? So is this going to be like the very end of the game? It feels like it's the end because we just had that like epic chase sequence. Subway key in. Lights on. Let's go. Doors closed. Let's go. Uh, I can relax for a bit now, hopefully. No more sentinels or zerks chasing us. The zerks are actually all trapped in the lower levels. We haven't seen any zerks in this chapter at all. I feel like there's going to be a little bit more to the game though, right? Because if we just got out, I don't know, there would be something missing. We still haven't found out exactly what happened in this game. We're heading to the control room. It's kind of a bit creepy on this train right now. Oh, look, we're coming out somewhere. Enjoy the world's safest city, I think it says. Yep, enjoy the world's safest city, Ward City 99. This place looks a lot cleaner. Still got cleaning bots. Helper 477. Hello, how may I help you? So it seems like these helpers maybe don't have the advanced... AI that the other ones do with like emotions and stuff. They're just the original kind of cleaning bots. And they're keeping the place spick and span. What's this guy doing? Just maintaining the plant, I think. <laughs> Greetings, inhabitants of Ward City 99. Yeah, they're very monotone, aren't they? Very just like, hello, how are you doing today? I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint and have a nice day. They're not too interesting to speak to. Wait, is this the exit? Yeah, city sealed. Let's go. Greetings, inhabitant of Ward City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests and have a nice day. Okay, thanks. So we need to find an engineer. Well, I don't think there'll be any engineers up here. None of these robots are very useful. They're just kind of doing their daily tasks. This one's cleaning a window. <gasps> Look! Guys, that's where we were earlier. That's the city, well, the slums, as it's called, that we explored earlier. There's actually the lit-up sign, that was Momo's house, if you remember. And then we went up to that tower, and that's where we planted the transceiver. And then, I think here, this would be, um, Midtown. Yeah, so, and there's the prison. So there's the prison we were just in before we took the subway train. There's Midtown. And then there's the slums. That's cool. And we, of course, came all the way from up there, but it's sealed. We're gonna get back though. There's the control room, that's what we need to get inside to open that big door. Let's see if we can hack it. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. <laughs> Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. I think I need to reach this. We've got one of these little helpful cubes here though. Follow us, little guy. And just on here, please. That's right. Nice. Okay, can we open this now? Can't open it still. Maybe he needs to inspect this. Yeah. He opens it for us. I get it. 
Oh, now we just vandalize it with our claws. Just have a good scratch. Here we go. This is where the magic happens. This controls the whole place, I think. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did for them. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were all above it. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. So the plague wipes out everybody. Just, you know, the plague as, as it's been in history before. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. So yeah, I don't know if by the plague he means that's our final memory out of the main ones as well. So we got 85% memory, so that's pretty good actually. Um, yeah, I don't know if he means like the plague as in like the bacteria, the zerks they created, or as in just, you know, some kind of plague that happened before the zerk. Because I think he said earlier the zerk evolved after the humans had been wiped out. Anyway, let's inspect this. This is the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We will need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them all on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Okay B12, you get to work up there and we're gonna hop down and turn these computers on just like you asked. Alright, so... Just walk over the keypad, I think, to activate them. Nice. Hey, And there we go! That's all the computers! It worked! Good job, my friend! I found it! I know how to open up the city, but something's off here. Wait! Maybe there's a way around it. Nothing can ever be simple, can it? Roof s control station. Ah, system's locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. So if we open that, the roof opens and all the light floods down. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack for machines. You, destroy some stuff. That's true, that's what we do do best. Alright, so are these the machines we need to hack? Can we open it? Ah, so we destroy it. By clawing at it. And then... Can he hack it? Yeah. Oh! Got a little shock from that. The, the, the system is taking more than I expected. Intrusion alert. Wait, are we going to get sentinels on our ass again? Oh no! We've got to keep going. Are you sure? It could be dangerous. So we've got this one next. What do we do? Push this down? Yeah. Ah, now we can scratch this. Scratchy, scratchy. Breaky, breaky. And now hack this one. Ooh, he keeps getting those shocks. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. He's burning up. I really don't want B12 to die. He's our little companion and he's the last remaining human. We need his legacy to live on. We've got one more lock, look. Where's the last machine? Oh, is this it? Yep, this one's an easy one. Just open that and destroy these. 
here we go. Hack for final computer. Now, hopefully, he doesn't break. Okay, he broke. I, I, I think this little body is done for. It, it's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me over to the workstation, and then we can disable the alarm. Well, if you say so, you better not be lying to us, though. I feel like he's putting himself at an unnecessary risk here. Maybe we could just live down here, you know? There we are. Right, will it work? That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open up the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer, and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. No! We must! I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past, but I see a future in the companions, which are the robots obviously, and you. Here, let me take that off for you. Oh no, we're not going to be bonded anymore. He's just going to resign himself to the fact that he's going to die. You were my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No, and now he's shut down. Well, I think he's doing one final task, isn't he? He's using the last of his power to open this place up now. No, that is so sad. He's got the last piece of humanity within him and he's gone. My cat does that to me as well, actually. Like, if I put my hand out, sometimes she actually does it to my face. She'll like nuzzle against my face. And her nose is all wet. Oh, and it's going to sleep next to him. They really did have this strong bond. But look, the door's actually opening now. So we succeeded, and we're maybe going to be able to go and reunite with our family of cats from the beginning of the game. And all the robots will be able to finally see the daylight. And even go out into the outside world if they want. Oh yeah, it will destroy the Zerks as well, I completely forgot. They don't like light, do they? So it's actually going to wipe out the Zerk infection as well. There's Momo. He looks pretty happy. There's that Guardian character. It's beautiful, isn't it? You get to see the sunlight finally hit the city. It shuts down the Sentinels because they were running off artificial light. So the real sunlight actually counteracts that, I guess. Oh, and we're just asleep up here with our little companion as it opens up. Can we do anything or do we just... No, we just go back to sleep. Oh, we have to leave him behind. But look at that, guys. You can see the roof is opening up. And then we can see all of the city below. There's the slums in a whole new light. It actually looks nice now. There's Midtown. There's the prison. Goodbye, B12. Let me have a look at you one last time. You were a good friend and you will be missed. Hopefully you can rest in peace now. The last of humanity erased from existence. Right, let's get out of here. We should be able to go through the door, I think, in this lobby now. Here we go, here's our little friend. See you later. He's like, go in peace, my friend. See you later. Wow, look at this. Be outside. We're free. 
Going to bound into the sunlight. There we are. Where's our cat friends? Are they waiting for us up here? Hopefully we get to see them again. Look at the sunlight. A cat needs sunlight. So it's probably pretty happy to be out in the open air again. It's a happy ending. I'm glad the cat was, you know, alive and well at the end. Because that was one thing I was a bit worried about as we went through the episodes. That something really bad would happen to the cat. Because it kept falling down and hurting itself. But it's fine. Ooh! And a... Sp Wait, is, does that mean that he's still alive? Did you see that computer screen light up, guys? That could mean that B12 actually is still in the system somewhere. And that maybe, um, maybe when he went on that device, he transferred himself once again back into the network. Because he talked about the network, didn't he, and being able to live on inside of it. So I think that's what that's trying to tell us, that like, you know, he is still alive. But he's just trapped in the network again. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but maybe he can find a way to, you know, transfer into another robot body at some point and come back as a robot and live on in this world. There's still some hope for him, I think, is uh, the main takeaway from that. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get to see Stray, you know, the stray cat, reunite with his family, but I guess he probably just finds them out in the open world, you know, discovers them once again, or maybe finds another cat family, I don't know. The main thing is, though, he got out unscathed, which is good. But that was Stray Guys, my full playthrough on the channel, and I hope you enjoyed it. I really loved that game. I think it's actually one of my favourite games I've played all year. It had so much personality, it had some horror vibes, it had some sci-fi vibes, it had some really cute and adorable vibes. It felt like a wholesome game, and it felt like a real palate cleanser from all the gory and, like, super dark horror games we play in the sort of even more cartoony horror games we play on the channel. It's just nice to play something different. Even though the theme of this game is pretty dark, it's about humanity getting wiped out by a plague and then the bacteria they had created turning into this monstrous race called the Zerks and then all the robots that they created gaining their own consciousness and their own personality and becoming like the people, learning from the history of the people that existed before them learning the history of their creators and then adapting that into their own kind of way of life, I guess. But with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's video. And if you did enjoy this series, I'd appreciate it if you can leave me a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.